What's going on, everybody? It's Matt, Coach, and Tyler. We are the FF Mediators, and today we are going to walk through some buy-sell hold on a big-name quarterback to a tug of Iola. And Coach, you are going to walk us through where you're at on Tua right now in your dynasty world. Is he a buy? Is he a sell? Or is he a hold? Man, Tua in dynasty. You talk about a problem. I mean, this is a guy that his performance with the Miami Dolphins was fantastic ever since his absence. It's been obvious, or let me just say more obvious, how good he actually is. He's a proven top 15 quarterback year after year. I think he's had four seasons where he's been anywhere between 17 to 10 overall as a quarterback. But now his injury history obviously presents us with a problem. I happen to be a Tua owner. So if you have Tua, what can you do with Tua? For me, one of the things you can do at this point is you're kind of stuck. You're going to have to hold Tua. Hope he plays well when he comes back. If you're a re rebuilding team, then if you have Tua and he plays well, that might be an opportunity for you to ship him off for a second-round pick, possibly get a little something back for him if he does come back and have a game, or, a game or two of success. However, if you're a competing team, you may be stuck and having to use Tua the rest of the year. That may be the boat that I'm hoping to be in, where I'm just going to hope I can survive the season and see what happens from then on. However, if you don't have Tua, this may be a good time to go try to get Tua. If there's an owner in your league that has Tua, <clears throat> maybe they're not using him, maybe they're in the bottom half, this may be an opportunity for you to go see if you can offer them a third-round pick and get Tua in return. If he gets hurt, he gets hurt, you don't really lose anything. So that's what I'm, th that's what I'm thinking with Tua in both scenarios currently. And if you're buying Tua coach – is it team dependent or if you're a contender or if you're rebuilding, do you think it's a, a solid choice either way? I think it's a solid choice either way, depending on what you have to give up for him. I mean, if you give up a third round pick for Tua at this point, who cares, right? Your third round pick's probably not going to hit. Tua is going to give you more value than you're in two games. And you're probably going to get from your third round pick most of the time. Now, if you're a competing team, it's an it's an easy go go take a swing and see what happens. Um, but other than that, like I'm just saying, if you can get him for really cheap, there's really no reason not to. I'm seeing trades everywhere right now where people are buying Tua for super cheap, and I really think now's the time. It does look look like he's going to come back. It looks like he's going to play. Um, who knows how long? So now may be the opportunity for you to to jump on that. Yeah, it, and it kind of looks like the the risk factor is already put into the price that you're paying. Like you said, if you can get it really cheap, you, you have the chance at a top 12 quarterback. So that's something that I'm willing to do, especially if I'm a contender or even if I'm a rebuilder and I can get it for the right price. Um, Tyler, are you buying or are you selling? Uh, I, I kind of agree with you. I think really, you know, it kind of comes down to not necessarily roster selection, but the price. Um, I would easily pay a third for Tua. I've got competing rosters where I only have two QBs, um, you know, that be prime for a third quarterback where if there's an injury later down the road, um, something like that, um, and just to see if the value increases. Um, I think rebuilding too, you know, third round pick at this point, like MacArthur mm -hmm. said, you know, we're looking at what, maybe a 50% hit rate. Um, unless you're coach and he owns the third round, trust me. Um, but, you know, like in all honesty, third round pick for a starting caliber quarterback who we're thinking is like, you know, top 15 ish somewhere, usually. Um, I think that's a no brainer, honestly. Yeah. And we can't inflate him too much. He does own the third round, but that's that's a story for another day. Um, so what I want to do is I want to <laughs> hit you guys with a couple <laughs> real trades that um, we've had sent to us or that we I went and found um, that have been completed recently. And I kind of want to walk through and see where you guys fall on that. So the first one is Tua for Gardner Minshew in a 25 third. That's an easy Tua for me. Yeah, yeah I, I, I might there. as well. <clears throat> I think there are people that think they can – if Tua does really well, they'll be able to move off of him for something higher. 
Like I just don't see a world anymore in Dynasty where you can get a first round pick for two anymore. If he wasn't ever injured, then totally. But now that ship has sailed, I'm afraid, no matter what happens. At this point, no matter how great he plays, if he came back and led the Dolphins to the Super Bowl, you're probably not getting a first round pick for him. You're just not because of his injury history. Uh, I think his value is probably at or above that first, probably a late first. But I think you're right, and you're not going to find a willing buyer given the risk that's factored in. Um, yeah. But let me ask you this. Here's another trade. Would you rather have Justin Herbert or Tua in a 25 first? Just say it's a random first. Um, for me personally, I, I'm i a believer in Justin Herbert. You know, have been since he started and he had that crazy rookie season. Um, that would be one I'm willing, you know, to trade Tua away, even with the first involved, you know, at being random and such. I, I would go after Herbert all day there. Um, that's just personally me, though. Coach? Yeah, me too. I mean, if I'm a rebuild, then I may take the first and two would just take a chance, see what happens. But if I'm anywhere during the middle in the middle of the league or competing, I'd rather have Herbert. Well, let's push it out a little bit further, too. Let's say you're a rebuilding team. Would you rather have Tua in a 26 first or Derek Carr? This was a trade that surprised me. I'm thinking Tua. I mean, me I, I just – I Derek Carr was fantastic for two weeks. I mean, he's come back down. He's a he's a 20 to 25-ish quarterback most of the time. I mean, just being honest, I'd rather take a risk with Tua. Tyler? Yeah, rebuilding, you know, those firsts are key. They only increase in value, um, especially in Dynasty. Um, yeah. You know, so at that point, like, you you just take it and hope that Tua works out. Yeah, for, for me, it's exactly what you guys said. It, it's Tua, you know, this might be the cheapest he is, too. That's a, that's another thing. If, if he comes back and he plays well, then his value is only going to go up. Um, as it stands mm-hmm. right now, too, he's in an elite offense with playmakers everywhere. Um, so I've got one more. This is a tight end premium trade that happened. And it's a little more difficult. Would you rather have Tua or Kyle Pitts? Hmm. Uh, so for me, I've got Kyle Pitts in the league. I still believe in Kyle Pitts. He's like, what, 22 at this point? 22, 23? He's a young tight end. Um, they typically break out a little bit later. In a tight end premium, especially after what we watched on Thursday Night Football last night, give me Pitts. Yeah, if I've got other quarterbacks that I can play that I feel comfortable with, then I'm taking Pitts. I mean, Pitts' value is higher than the third, probably. He's probably at least at a second-round value, at least. To me, that would be something I'd be willing to move to a four right now, if possible. Yeah, so I I think the mediators here, have uh, we've spoken pretty well on this. I think for us, we are going to buy two if we can get them at the right price we're definitely not going to overpay i'm probably not paying a first given the risk there um but you know if you're a rebuilding team and you can get them cheap then by all means you should do it if you're a contending team and you can get them cheap by all means you should do it if you have them you're probably going to have to hold until he does something that allows you to move him for either market value or get someone to overpay but uh, coach do you have any belief that tua should be the quarterback for the miami dolphins for the next few years um, I would say no to that, but I think they've paid him so much money at this point, they're stuck. I mean, that's where I'm at. I don't think they have a choice right now. So he's going to be the quarterback on, until he just can't play anymore. Yeah, I would agree. Well, that's going to do it for us, folks. So be sure to like, a, uh, like the stream, follow us over on X at the FF Mediators, subscribe to the YouTube at the FF Mediators. As always, we are proud affiliates of the Face Off Sports Network. So be sure to subscribe and like all of their content as well. Catch us every Wednesday at 8.30 Eastern for our live show. And we're also going to be live on um, X with a space at halftime of every Thursday night game. So catch us over there. Until next time, everybody.